compiling it again. Normally this works straight away, but I've done a lot of editing with my tag files. I'll just make sure it compiles alright. Yeah. The one thing it doesn't really doesn't like about that is it compares the tag data files that you're trying to compile into your map with the meta files in the lock map and the I think the other two maps might have other tags in them other than sounds and the bitmaps bitmaps. But now that it's compiled, I'll just run Halo C again and hope for the best. I don't know what the problem is with it with exceptions when creating your own menus. I guess having a team of programmers for the thing would have helped a lot. But yeah, going through that error like that, um, hopefully we'll be able to, and fixing it might also help you guys to fix any problems or errors you might get. But the one thing I can't remind you enough about is to completely constantly back up your UI tag files. It's one thing that is really important and if you don't back them up constantly your life will be a living hell because the UI files con man released. I can't find them anywhere. As you can see it worked properly this time. Press enter and it works. Whoops. Oh well. Huh. Quit. Okay. And that brings an end to my UI editing video tutorial part one. Next part I'll go into detail with editing the original tags, say campaign and multiplayer so you can create all of your own interface layouts and anything you want. As for setting up the tag files, I guess having a team of programmers and people to communicate with each other and help each other would have also helped with creating the UI. Uh, I would like to thank the ghost because he's a great guy and inspired me with a lot of things. Corn man for releasing every thing that he released before he went away with the army and just everyone at the gearbox software forums it really helped and for those who really want this tutorial here it is